Hi, this video is intended to introduce you to the AutoSim 1.2 software and some of the functionality. The screen that you see now is the starting location uh, that one would start on a laptop. Uh, after having loaded the software one time, you will have this small icon on your desktop, which by clicking on this icon, you will load up the AutoSim program. The AutoSim program comes in through this introductory screen. I'm going to drag and drop it over to the left to make a bit of space and press on enter here. This is your table of contents page or the real home page that we'll be returning to a number of times during the talk. And I'll walk quickly through sections one through seven and show you what's there. The introductory section has three topics. You'll notice there's a button at the bottom for table of contents. That'll take me back to the table of contents. And again, by clicking on one, back to the introduction. Um, just wanted to give you a quick introduction to some of the visual perception tests. So here, the instructor is given some information, but by clicking on this image, a second image, op a second window will open up. And this is the student window. So this window here on the right-hand side is what the student will be seeing. And obviously with this, one would want to confirm that the student can read multiple lines down. If you can't read down four or five or six lines, you're probably not using the autoscope right or have some sort of visual issue that you want to deal with first. Some other tests that are available include uh, a test to see if you can perceive the difference between a three-dimensional shape and a two-dimensional shape. Three-dimensional shape and a two-dimensional shape. And again, some people will have difficulty extrapolating, which could give rise to difficulty in, in uh, looking at a tympanic membrane and, and extrapolating into three dimensions. The other thing you can check for is whether the student is colorblind. And there are a series of other tests uh, take you back to the chapter index and then back to the table of contents. The real core of the program is sections two and three, which present external uh, auditory canal and middle uh, ear pathologies. So here there are 21 chapters and for instance I'll pick uh, chronic otitis externa and I'll see that there are 13 pages of text and images and by clicking on this image and pulling the student window over to the right the student will see this image and wherever I put my arrow the student will see that. I can also highlight things by clicking for instance on this box here. I then have a drawing tool that allows me to highlight different areas I might want the student to look at. There's an alternatively another box with circle in it that allows you to highlight in a different fashion where you might want the student to look. So these drawing tools are useful for highlighting different features to the student and by right clicking I can remove the markups. I can also remove the markups by just changing page. So for instance in this otitis externa there are 13 different pages each of which will have different images and or histology slides that one can present to the student uh, via the AutoSim unit. Once again, off on the right, what the student sees, off on the left, what the instructor sees. As you see, when I get to the 13th page and continue forward, it takes me back to the index. I can also now get back to the table of contents by pressing on the bottom bar. Middle ear, very similar story, 22 chapters of middle ear pathologies, and I won't go through those in detail. Um, pneumatic otoscopy is a new feature added in the 1.2 release. Uh, in this case, one can play a video to the students by simply pressing on that arrow, and you can see the effect of palpitating the tympanic membrane and its mobility. Uh, in future releases, there'll be additional features, but at this level, there are simply two videos which will loop repetitively uh, for the students uh, to inspect. Again, I can go back to the chapter index by hitting the forward arrow or the chapter index button, and then back to the table of contents. Um, section five is two parts. It's simply all the images in two and three without the text or histology slides. So it is just ear canals uh, with a small uh, uh, annotation below them. So I'll just show you for the uh, otitis externa, again, simply the images with the underlying. You wanna pull one of those images up for the student, 
you simply open the student window and again drag it over the right you can point or mark anything up that you'd like to uh, show to the student again when i get to the end of a chapter if i hit the forward arrow i'll be back to the chapter index and again by hitting table of contents back to the table of contents uh, the library part two again uh, similar sets of images um, we've also added in the 1.2 release uh, a specialist autology section there's just one section at the present time and it's an entire chapter on retraction pockets uh, the images coming from Dr. Adrian James at the Hospital for Sick Children. Again, 34 pages, including diagrams and images. All of the images, of course, can be pulled up on the student screen and then highlighted, highlighted to show uh, different sorts of features. So again, back to the chapter index and back to the table of contents. The final section is the self-assessment. These are essentially a set of test slides. So there are two sets of 14 slides which represent different pathologies. Useful to walk the students through uh, to, to check their breadth of understanding. Couple of features, I pulled up the first slide and brought it over for in the student viewing image. Uh, should the student wish to test themselves, the answer is not displayed until one hits the drawdown. This first image, of course, a normal tympanic membrane. So normal tympanic membrane is the answer. Uh, the second one, a titus externa. The third one, a big chunk of cerumen. And again, by moving in the student field, you can uh, bring things to the student's attention via the autosim units. And again, there's another set of a number of images, including here aspergillus, uh, foreign bodies, sand and pebbles from the beach, and various other pathologies. And by hitting on the 14th image, I'm back to the chapter index and by table of contents, back to the table of contents. So that gives you a bit of a review of the different sections in the 1.2 release of the Autosim software. There will be ongoing releases, adding content, uh, as well as uh, different locked down sets of images uh, and, and curriculum suggestions. Uh, please feel free to get back to us with any questions or comments at www.autosim.com. Thank you.